welcome everyone. I want to just appreciate you for being here. My name is Deepo and um, I am excited for you. Why? Because you have chosen this time, whether you saw a link from myself or from my colleague and friend who, are, who is here with me, Laurie, you are the right place and at the right time. Deciding to uh, maybe just leave everything you've been doing. Uh, maybe maybe there's a program going on. I don't know. Everybody loves Raymond. Or <laughs> it's just that I don't watch a lot of TV, right? Talking about everybody loves Raymond. But you just probably decide to leave every other thing and be here because you want to learn information, ideas that can help you to move forward in your life and in your business. And like I said, I am very, very excited for you. Uh, so, but before I go right into 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 who I am, I'm sure some may know, but for some that don't know, I may probably share a little bit about myself. But uh, why don't I introduce you to my friend and, uh, and my friend and, and business partner, Lori. Lori, why don't you come in and say hi to everyone? All right. Can you hear me all right? Yes, I can. Well, hey, I want to welcome everybody, too. Thanks, Depot. I'm, it's always awesome to get on calls with you and, and just um, hang out. This is kind of more of a casual type thing, but we sure have a lot to share again tonight. And uh, we're hoping that we'll give you some value and, and give you some strategies that you can put to use right now and make your business boom, explode, you know, <laughs> skyrocket. Um, Anyway, thanks, Depo. <laughs> <laughs> I I know you're excited. Uh, you're excited, like uh, uh, as much as I am as well, to to share to share uh, what we have today. Uh, but just a little bit about those that may not know me, uh, or, or those that may not know Laurie. I think she's going to share hers as well too. Uh, the question is, who who am I, or why should I be uh, sharing these ideas with you? Uh, well, in a nutshell. Um, you know, it all it all started for me when I left my home country back in Nigeria. Um, this is kind of like the way I typically ask the question. My question is, what would you do if you find yourself alone, cold, and thousands of miles from everything you've been familiar with? Because that was where I found myself uh, back in January of 2002. Oh, wow, that's quite a while back, over a decade now. And, and, and I found myself... Uh, and a new place, right? Because like I said, I left my home country to seek a better life for myself and to create something new for my family. Um, going on to a higher education, right? I had actually just completed my, uh, my what, what we would call a higher, uh, higher education um, here in the US, uh, or high school. Uh, so I was going to, 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 to college, and that was what I was told, right? To go to school, to get good grades, so that um, at the end of the day, you can, you can get a good paying job and work for, what, 40 years of your life, right? And, and, and at the end of the day, be able to retire at the end of 40 years of your life uh, that you've given over to someone, right? And, um, and retire on 40% of what was not enough in the very first place. That was what I thought was the key, right, to, to, to being successful, the key to wealth, the key to amassing wealth. So I was on that journey. As a matter of fact, I was, I was one, one of the people you call uh, a, a good student because I was taking notes. I was, I was working hard in school. I mean, I wanted to go for that, uh, go for that, uh, uh, that, that uh, wealthy lifestyle, right? But, but then, but then um, after, after working, after, after being in school, and, uh, and and just chugging along, chugging along. That was when I realized I think something was missing, right? Uh, but then it didn't click for me until my mentor and my inspiration actually sent me an email and he said, because he said, he said, Dipo, he said, you want to be great. He said, study great people. And that's when I realized, oh my goodness, I don't really know any, any great person around that I can study. And that's when he recommended my first uh, 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 book, which was called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. As a matter of fact, it began my journey into personal development and growth. That's when I realized that delving into that book, I was like, oh my goodness, there's a there's a lot of information that 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 I was just having access to for the first time that I realized, wow, the rich people had this information and the poor and the middle class did not. That there was a different kind of philosophy, a different kind of teaching. And that's when I realized, oh my goodness, I was on the wrong side of the quadrant. And if you haven't read that book, I implore you to go get that book on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, wherever you can find in the library. Get the book, Rich Dad for that, because I believe as it made a transformational difference for me, it will make one for you as well. That's when I realized if you needed to be rich and successful, right, you needed to own your own business. 
And that's when I went into owning my own business, right? As a matter of fact, I went into real estate, but I lost money at that. I went into network, uh, I went into uh, stocks trading and options trading. I lost thousands of dollars on it, trying to figure out what could be the problem. And, and I couldn't just quit because that was what I was told, right? That you needed to own your own business. I just needed to figure out what I was missing. And that's when I connected with a mentor and a system a mentor and a system. By the time I was able to connect those two, I realized that there were things I needed to work on, meaning my mindset and the system that can help me to get to where I wanted to go. I mean, I can tell you I've made thousands of dollars, but this is not to impress you or, 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 to, or to try to uh, brand anything in front of you, but rather to impress upon you that it's possible for you as well now what is possible in the world is possible for you now i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna um, go beyond that uh but but i just wanted to share this quick story with you and i'll let laurie share hers with you as well too because we have this exciting information that i want to share with you but i hope my story has been able to inspire you that that you keep on going because the life that you want like someone said also wants you laurie over to you you know, um, there's a uh, as I listen to your story, I'm always inspired by it. And yes, that book is amazing. Um, it, I would absolutely recommend it too. But I, I was tonight. I realized that we have something very much in common, even though our stories are really different. My background is in fitness and nutrition industry. I went to school. Same thing. I had to, you know, get a, go to school, get a good education. I absolutely loved college. I don't know if that's normal, but I felt like I could be a forever student just because I love to learn. That kind of stuff is just exciting. But when I got into the um, the industry itself, you know, I've been an aerobic instructor, personal weight trainer, um, helping people lose weight, helping people eat right, you know, that kind of thing, and did a little bit of um, registered dietitian. Well, I'm not a registered dietitian, so I did nutritionist stuff, but. Um, I found that I couldn't um, spread my, I couldn't um, meet with enough people, first of all, to help them, the amount of people I wanted to help, but also to make the income that I knew was going to help to make um, my, me free, help to uh, create a good, like you were talking about for your family, like Depot was saying, for his family. Um, you know, thinking ahead, I thought, gosh, I really want to be able to be home with my children. Uh, I really want to be able to. Um, even my husband, I wouldn't want him to be a slave to his job either, and so there had to be a way. But so what the, the thing that we have in common is uh, trial and error is what occurred for me too along the way, and a lot of money, a lot of money into books, a lot of money into different um, systems, a lot of money into different uh, ideas, and um, but the thing that that is so powerful is to get a mentor and to find the right system. And both Depot and I have done that, and that is the common. You know, our mentors aren't the same, and but our system is. And the reality that um, my love for nutrition and fitness and having that freedom of health, optimum health, that this system that we both are involved with, that, that we're using to leverage our our businesses, is a vehicle for me to still do what I'm passionate about. And I think that's um, something that I hear from Depot too. He's got, uh, you know, a love of his family. He's got, um, uh, you know, people that. You know, I hope I hope it's okay if I say that. But we both are. We are. We go to church. We both have faith, and we. Um, that's a big priority for us. And without this system and this vehicle that we have, we we wouldn't have. We we'd be a lot more stressed is what I mean. We, we wouldn't have the time that we can give to this and it's you know our love. So this vehicle, the system and having this mentor, those are crucial parts of the puzzle um, to get us where we want to go because I was sitting at a point where I said you know I'm older now, I am tired, I don't want to keep living and working for somebody else's dream. I don't want to keep making and working for someone else to make an income from me and that's where again Depot and I you know he got it a lot sooner than me was that being an entrepreneur is key it's crucial you know it's something super important for you to do to step over that quadrant and be on the correct side of the uh, you know of that line so that you're in a place where you can succeed 
And uh, so if you're listening tonight, I hope that that our stories have touched you or inspired you to know that you can make a difference, that you can live your dreams, and that there is mentors now like, like us, like Depot and I. Um, you know, I believe that the, the world is at a place now that a coach is really necessary and that we're realizing that when we have someone that we can connect with that's there, that we can be accountable to, that's been there before us, we do just a ton better. Having that coach to say not, um, not what you want to hear, but what you need to hear to have success. That's what we're excited about and that's what we're here to do. And um, hopefully that helps you to know where we're at when we, when we start talking about these great things tonight. I um, hope it helps you to know that we're here for you, that we have a passion to be coaches, to be mentors, and to help you succeed and live your dreams. So um, with that, Deepa, where, where, where do we start? <laughs> wow. I love it. You know, your story just always encourages me. It, it always inspires me. I mean, because, because like you said, we... we we, we, we seem to have that, that commonality because we believe there are better things uh, ahead, better things waiting for us, better things that, that we can aspire to. We've had the challenges, we've had the pitfalls. Uh, now we are, we, we are taking it upon ourselves to say, okay, we're, we, we're going we're gonna to walk the journey with others. We're going to help other people to overcome those hurdles, to overcome those pitfalls so that they don't have to they don't have to face those challenges. If only they would be willing to walk comes with us and and, and 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 we help them to get the results that they want to get. So um let, let let's delve right into I know we can just keep talking about this, but let's delve right into uh the topic that 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 we uh that we wanted to share with, with others. You know a lot of network marketers, um, a lot of internet marketers, even affiliate marketers, they, they go to events, right? They, they attend all these events. And, and, and unfortunately, they're so hyped up, they're excited, they're jacked up, they're like, man, I mean, it's like, it's like they're bouncing off, off, the, off the ceiling um, from the information that they've heard. But the problem is they now get off the training, they get off the events, and, and, they, and it's like, Going all the way back to square square, square zero, and and not knowing what to do. I mean, it's, so it's like it's as, as if we we're pumped up, but 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 they don't know how to profit from the events that they that they attended, and and I think that is what we're going to be sharing with them. Uh, the, the things that will help them. I think we have about ten things that that we have to share with them that will help them in terms of how to profit from live events. Um, do you have anything to say, Lloyd, before before we start with number one? Yeah, yeah. I just think. Um, am I am I on? Did I? Yes. I yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking to see if I muted myself. Yeah. You know, I think the the most important thing just to, just to start off with is get to the events. I think sometimes that that when we uh, join a company, I guess two parts to that. Uh, I was thinking about while you were talking. I was going, yeah. Events are really important, and a lot of different MLM and network marketing. Even my friend who's a dentist. Um, his family goes to events. Um, you know, there's uh, all kinds of live events you can go to, no matter what business you're in. And um, sometimes, when we get started in a business, we think, "Oh, you know, that's going to cost me money. I have to travel so far," and we don't see the benefit of it. And um, I, so my first thought was, "Oh my goodness, treat your business like it's a business and get there live, because that's really where all the magic is." Um, that's where the energy is. That's where you're going to learn the most. That's where you're going to have some major, major breakthroughs. And uh, so, I know that's that's why, you know, I I I think that's why we came up with these um, ideas tonight, because we want to help people to um, get first have the priority to get to those events. Cause just get there, just get there, and then how to make the most of that when you're there. You know, how to make it really work for you. Oh, that's that's powerful, Lori, and 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 I need to give you the credit because you don't know, like, hey, Deepo, we, we need to talk about this, uh, this. Uh, we need to help people understand how to profit maximally from this event, uh, from this live events that that they attend, and, and and I really appreciate you for that. You know, one thing that is key uh, is that, and I think you, you you did mention it, is that you get breakthroughs from events. You know, especially if you're a newbie marketer, right? Maybe this may be your first rodeo in terms of um, making money online or in terms of a network marketing company. I don't know what kind of company you may be in 
or, or whatever business you've been promoting, even whether you have a job or you have a, a, a business, events are very, very key. Why? Because they help you, like Laurie said, to have that breakthrough. It is where your belief level shoots up to the roof. Mm -hmm. I mean, your belief level in terms of what is possible, in terms of what is happening, in terms of how people are being successful, in terms of, oh, wow, this person that has been successful is just a normal human being like me. I mean, I'm touching this person. I mean, if I, if I, if I, if I, if I, if I hit this person, this person is going to feel it. So they're not an alien. I mean, they are human beings like, uh, like myself. So it, it really makes it um, real. You know, you hear the $5,000 per month income, you hear the $10,000 per month income, you hear the twenty, thirty thousand dollars per month income. And of course, this is not a guarantee of income. See the income disclosure uh, at the page, uh, on the page that you're looking at. But you see all those income and then you realize that the peop these incomes have people behind them. That is, they are real people. So whatever events you attend, right, you build that belief level. So let, let's go right into, into into number one as to how to yeah. profit from this live events, Uh, uh <laughs> I, I know you want to say something. Let me let you say something. Oh, no, it looks like I'm just sitting here like, oh. Uh, you know, you were talking about uh, the breakthroughs at live events, and you were talking about incredible people, uh, the leaders, the ones that you find out are just normal people. Well, some sometimes I'm thinking of uh, people that I know well, that are in Mary Kay or other companies, uh, and, and they they may not be able to meet with those top national sales directors or the directors that are up on stage, the big, big uh, names. We have an amazing company where we can do that, where we can rub shoulders with, I mean, they're just, it's incredible I, that they can come in. But uh, when, you, when you're in one where you can't, I think the biggest part is, you know, you still need to network and you still need to see, like Depot's talking about, that people are just people. And I, I'll tell you right now, I, I was riding in, I, I chose to, um, you know, just ask at the airport. I thought, well, I'm going to, you know, buddy up with somebody. I'm going to get a ride in the, in the taxi. I'm going to share the fare. And um, I was talking to a friend on the phone and she said, you know, oh, you'll know them when you see them. You'll know them because they'll, they'll be positive looking. They'll be, you know, on fire, you know, you'll just know. And she was right. I, uh, I, I looked at him and said, you know, this couple looks pretty cool. I'm just going to ask them, hey, are you guys going to this destination? Sure enough, they were. So I ride with them, and they're just an incredible couple. I'm, I'm thinking, man, I've connected with these people. And they're just, you know, a husband and wife with their kids, and we're talking all this stuff. Well, lo and behold, I get to the event, and who's on stage but this couple? Uh, they didn't make any, you know, no uh, announcement to me that they were in the three hundred thousand dollars. You know, they were making a lot of money per month and stuff like that. But they were just real people, and so, you know, and, and I, uh, and that happens with people that aren't on stage, and then you find out they're very successful, and they're more than willing to share with you. And so, when you connect with people, know that you're going to this live event. And yes, there's incredible people on stage that are speaking, but there are amazing people all around you to network. Depot and I, that's we met at an event. Same thing. We were in the audience. We weren't up on stage yet. <laughs> and so when we um, met, I mean, it was just awesome. They, and I think that that's the real reason that you should be going to an event. You go not to um, try to get referrals, you know, for your business, but you go to make a good friend. And I think each time you go, if you say, hey, this time I'm going to go and I'm going to make one really good friend or two really good friends and really make that your desire to do, that that will happen and you'll find the person you can connect with. And I, that's what happened for us. And I think uh, I would totally recommend that. Now, every time I go, since that time, I thought, you know, I've got this amazing friend, Depot. Well, I wish Anya was on tonight because she was the one I met at this last event in Orlando from France. Of course, she's sleeping right now. <laughs> Bless her heart. Mm -hmm. But, you know, these, this is what we go for, is to just make friends. We're not there, you know, I don't know how you feel about, uh, you have, have you ever had that experience where somebody's trying to refer, trying to get you into their organization? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, that is so, that is so sad. I mean, where people are like, it's like a, what do you call a pitch fest? So people are like, 
pitching each other and, and trying to recruit each other into 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 the network marketing list. I remember this this event that I attended quite a while back, and then I mean I was just trying to learn the information, and someone was busy trying to pitch their own business to me and handing me about to show pretty much kind of shoving their business card to me to to try to join their business. That is not what what uh, I mean. The events that we attend, that is not what it's about, right? It's it's about learning, becoming better through association, through information, through connection. That is what we do Why, when we come together at events, is to become a better version of ourselves. So, um, Laurie, I know we can keep going, but let, let's talk about the first uh, the, 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 the first well, way to profit from events. Yeah, we can. We kind of do, you know, along the way, I was going to say, everybody keep listening because we're throwing out little nuggets here and there. Yeah, but, um, yeah. So, uh, you know, if you're going to connect with people, I think number one is that, uh, you know, arrive early and leave late, you know. You know, whether it's at the, um, you know, whether it's you've flown in the day early so that you're at the hotel for the day before and the day after so you can work with people and connect with people, or whether it's the event itself, you're going... The doors are going to open up. You want to be there maybe a half hour to an hour early because there's some networking that goes on, you know, in the hallways before that event opens. You know, that so, is correct. That yeah. that's good. I agree with you. Um, but when you, when you arrive there early, number one, two is is you have that peace of mind. You're not you're not rushing and and so stressed up. You you're there on time. You're there early enough to connect. Like I said, with, with with those people that also show up early. Maybe to, to begin to find out who they are, their story, what they're doing in their business, how they're, uh, how they're improving their business, so that you can begin to learn those golden nuggets. Like Laurie said, it's not only at the event, it's not only when the training session is going on that you're learning, but also even before the events, right? Uh, so you want, like Laurie said, you want to get there early and you want to uh, you wanna leave late. Because even after the event is over, you will still find other people like successful people that you can connect with, learn ideas from 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 them. Uh, maybe how they are generating their traffic, or, or or how they are or how they're getting their own leads. I mean, all these kind of things will definitely help you. So, um, like Laurie said, um, you go there early and then you leave late. Laurie, what's number two? Yeah. Um, I think uh, besides besides that, going early and leaving late, you were talking about you know you're networking and you're connecting with people, and you know this is a saying that I hear, and again, Depot and I, uh, well, I'll tell you, you know, the the saying is business happens at the bar. Well, I don't know, I don't I don't think you're a drinker either. I'm not a drinker. I'm not somebody who uh, goes to bars or taverns or anything like that. Although I did with my parents, and they have really good food. <laughs> but that's not the point. <laughs> the point is that there that everybody when there is an event, a lot of times at that hotel, there's a main place where a lot of people are going to and yes, some of them are having drinks, but a lot of them are going just to communicate with each other about the things they're learning and the things that are working in their lives. And this is where you can connect. So, if not just in the hallway, there's networking going on all the time, but also at the bar or the the place where everybody's connecting at. I know um, it was a restaurant bar uh, when we were in Orlando, and there was a lot of people talking about this one place where everybody was going. And if you're there, I'll tell you what, there's just huge amounts of people, even uh, sometimes more they have a welcoming a party, which is excellent, but sometimes even more people now go to this hangout after, and uh, you can, again, network and connect. And I think it's important just to... Um, you know, I, one thing you said, Depot, I, I thought about um, talking about uh, being better, going for those breakthroughs. Well, if you go with the uh, intention like Depot's talking about, and you say, you know what, I'm going to be inspiring. I am going to go, and I'm going to be fully engaged, and I'm going to be fully present. And if you take these tips like we're talking about, you are. You're going to have more than one breakthrough, and it's going to be it's going to be a good experience for you. Absolutely, and, uh, and and those are great points, Laurie. Um, and that was actually my number five here. Uh, oh. <laughs> says, remember, business is done at the bar, uh, and, and and to always be networking at all times, even in even even in maybe in the hallway. Um, doing and, and remember, these are all doing the, uh, these are all doing the, 
break sessions, right? And and I think that brings me to, to my own number two that I've written now, and, and, and that is when, especially when the training is going on at the events, you want to take great notes, right? You want to be like like I said, fully engaged. Because when you're fully engaged and learning the story, you're going to probably be writing them down so that you can probably be able to go out and, and talk to other people. Uh, maybe in your blog posts, maybe 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 when you're sending an email to your list, you want to be relaying this kind of experiences. How how Jane went from from being a a, 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 a a lowly waitress, a lowly paid waitress, to 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 being able to uh, finally get into a business that helped him to. Uh, earn five thousand dollars a month, eventually ten thousand dollars a month. He was able to quit his job, and now he lives on the beach, right? Or, or now he 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 is at home with his family. Those kind of success stories, testimonials, they they engage other people that wow. I mean, it's possible. I mean, so this person came from being a lowly waiter or waitress to to uh, to to earning this amount of money. That's possible for for me. And of course, me throwing out income is not a guarantee of income. Please see the bottom of the page um, for our income disclaimer, right? So, so, but you want to be taking good notes. That's 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 what I have for number two. Mm -hmm. Laurie, what do you think? Number two, yeah, you know, as far as notes go, too, you're talking about being engaged and present, and it made me think, you know, just like you're saying, um, you know, at our again, at the system that we use, the company that we've been working with, you know, we, we someone will usually someone on stage will say. You know, okay, everybody, get your phone out and take a picture. That doesn't happen, you know, at very many events. But um, so, but we're not talking about not having your phone. But I, I thought about it. You know, you're not on the phone talking to someone else. You're not running out in the hall to catch a phone call because um, you're there. You want to be there. And so, I mean, every time you step out, you can miss something. And mm -hmm. they, you know, they'll have breaks for you along the way. But um, anyway, like you said, be engaged, be there, take good notes. Awesome. Uh, you, you know, as I was looking at my notes, I just realized that was my number. That was my number ten as well too. So, oh. so, so, we, so we keep we keep hitting all those points. Uh, uh, be engaged, uh, be present, and also taking good notes. Taking good notes was my number two. So, so what's your uh, three? Uh, my 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 three is to prepare ahead by getting extra sleep. Oh man, uh, yeah. It's to prepare ahead by getting extra sleep. Oh, uh, you know, sometimes you may, in the excitement of the event you're gonna attend, so uh, some people find that, uh, some people find that they, they find themselves. Oh, I think my daughter just arrived. Uh, uh, some people find find themselves excited, too excited to go to sleep, um, yeah. not before, but then. If you want to really be functional, if you want to really make an impact uh, or, or, or be impacted by the training, you want to ensure that you are preparing ahead, um, ensuring that you, you you take extra sleep, because when you do that, you become fully present uh, with the training that you're attending. Mom, I want to pee. <laughs> I want to pee. She wants to pee. She wants to pee. All right, Lauren, let me. I want to pee. <laughs> you see, that was the beauty of being able to work from home, man. Right? That's awesome. That's awesome. So, um, God, I totally lost my train of thought because she's got such the cutest voice I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so get, he's right. When you're at events, a lot of times you end up, you do. You just, you, everybody is just excited about it. You're learning new things. Nobody's getting any sleep. But two things that come to my mind, one just recently that I learned about, um, and the other was, you know, I've known for a while. But so, so with lack of sleep, with lack of sleep comes cognition skill loss. Your cognition, all your brain. So if you're a, well, if you're any marketer, but like for us, when we're blog, you're blogging, you want to get a point out, or you want to do your, you want to be good at sales, whatever it is. If you don't have cognition, you've lost some of your cognition, you're not going to do as well, which means you're probably not going to take as good a notes. Here's the second thing I learned that if you can get a good massage, it's like eight hours of sleep. So my thought is before the event, not just the night before, which that's important too, like Depot was saying, be sure and get some good sleep. Sometimes people are flying, you know, uh, some of our events we've talked to people that come 17 hours on flights, I'm like, wow. 
But um, but to, to, if you can back up even, maybe you know you're going to go to this event and it's two weeks away, just try to take care of yourself more up until that point so that you are um, getting more sleep, enough sleep. And what is enough sleep? Well, at least six hours. I mean, a lot of people I talk to barely get six, but really the best is eight. And we hear it all the time, but the statistics are out, the research has been done, and no matter what, you'll people will tell you, oh, I can do, I can go on six hours, I don't have a problem. But, but the reality is, it does take away from cognition. And when we, when we truly want to build a business loving people, like Depot and I, we're in a business of, uh, this is what we do. We coach people, we mentor them, we love them. And uh, you can't love those people unless you're taking care of yourself. And I know that's one thing that I really focused on this last year was how am I going to take care of myself? Sleep is a big one. And uh, going into this event, um, I got some pretty good sleep and I got some massage. And I'll tell you, it did make a difference. So um, it's crucial. So, and there's some probably some other things coming up that are crucial to taking care of ourselves so that we're at our best so the event's at its best. Yeah, that's awesome, Larry. And and uh, and I really appreciate the fact that you you, you buttressed on on that getting that rest. I, I think it's very critical. And uh, I was actually and that brings us to number four. Um, we're still talking about how to be in that um, healthy state of mind, state of being. And um, and I think um, I was I was actually um, this is a personal thing, but um, I think I feel free to share. I was. Actually, I just did my uh, my my blood work, and one of the things my my coach actually told me, my health coach actually told me, was to drink lots of water, to drink lots of water, and I, and, and that even works with with, uh, with uh, that's even important and critical to 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 how to be an optimum state, especially when you're at events. You wanna be you you don't wanna be dehydrated. You wanna actually have lots of fluid in you. Um, to keep you, to keep you energized, to keep you in the flow, uh, because because really, uh, and I think this is from kind of what I've learned is that most of most of uh, most of our body is like made up as uh, uh, is is water uh, is water based or something like that. So you want to always ensure that that you're drinking lots of water. I'll let the 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 nutrition uh, expert uh, <laughs> tell us tell us tell us more about uh, drinking lots of water. <laughs> uh, and you know, I'm sitting here going, "Oh man, water is so important." But the first thing I thought of was at these events, people are usually drinking coffee. Everybody's wanting to stay awake, so they're drinking those energy drinks and they're drinking coffee. And um, with every cup of coffee, you need to drink like two cups of water. I don't know if people do that. I don't know if people understand that that it takes water out of your body when you drink coffee. So um, it's not like uh, it's not like a beverage that's hydrating, you know. Even though you might drink it to stay awake, and you'll see a lot of people doing that at events. Um, there are just other ways to go. And water, I mean, for me, I'm like, anytime somebody's uh, got a headache or got a sore back or can't stay awake, water does a, takes care of a lot of that. So, mm. and I've seen that. I've seen that happen. So, wow. in, in uh, six, I I say. Um, not just eight glasses of water a day, but even more. But at these events, you need to really be drinking a lot because you know that's the other thing. You're you're you, you might be in a different time zone and a different climate. Um, a lot of times in the hotels, it's drying air. There's air conditioners, so the water is really crucial to, like you said, being at your best. Wow, awesome, awesome. And let's see if we can if we can try to. Uh Speed it up just for the yeah, sake yeah, of no, time. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, so, so we talked about uh, business being done at the bar. Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, business being done pretty much everywhere, right? Uh, not just at the location where the training is happening. It could be at the bar. It could be at the hallway. Pretty much wherever, wherever people are, are together and networking. You're not going to the bar, especially for us. You're not, you're not going to the bar to go drink or, or to go binge or, or to go even. To, to, to go do do uh, do any drinking, but but rather to connect, to listen to the to to the leaders, or to to to, to network with other people and just learn from them. Of course, um, it's not it's it's not. Uh, anyways, let's just let's just let's just move on from there. But business is not uh, business is done pretty much everywhere. Always 
the the lot a lot right so so let's let's move to the next one uh study the marketing of the event right oh wow that is critical i like that study the marketing of the event you know everything ev i think everything is out there if we take advantage of it to teach us in one way or the other whether in the form of learning from a mistake or whether in the form of learning from a uh, success right but, but especially in terms of how how people how marketing takes place at the event you need to learn from it so that you can apply it in your own business right you know, so that you can get that results that you desire and that you truly deserve um i'll let Lloyd, Lloyd share more about that oh just i'll just a quick thing and we can move on just um you know sometimes we're at events and they're selling a product uh that's one marketing but then there's also just the whole idea itself you know what's uh how did they promote it beforehand uh what what are they doing in the middle of it to to keep people excited um you know what is all the marketing because there's a lot of stuff that was taking place and um you know you could be on one side of the fence going oh no another sale you know here they are selling us again or you can be on the side of wow they are amazing at what they're doing look at all the people that are absolutely buying and excited about this whole thing you know um, I don't know if that makes sense but you can choose you really have a choice and when you say I need to look at this marketing like I, this last time I said you know I'm gonna look and see what I should be doing because what these uh, what my mentors what these leaders of this company are doing are exactly what I need to implement into my business success so I'm gonna watch I'm gonna be open and aware to what's going on and what they're actually doing to make a difference and then it changed the way I looked at everything and the way I heard it and um, I got excited I got excited about purchasing I got excited about buying I was like these guys are awesome I'm in you know and I'm like oh I'm already in you know <laughs> <laughs> that's right like oh wow you think I'm already in <laughs> you see that's the beauty of it um, we can talk more about it but I think it's that was with the next one and, and I think um, maybe we, we talked about it um, along the way and that's to make one or two new great friends you know, Laurie talked about in the beginning about me meeting Laurie was at events, right? And 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 we've been we've been friends, we've we've been, we've, been, we've been business colleagues for, for for since since we since we since we met and and uh, and I'm learning from each other. You want to go to events to connect and make at least one or two new friends that you can go out of the event and still be connected together learning from each other, uh, working with each other, and helping each other to promote each other's businesses or to promote uh, each other in their business. So it's very important uh, at events, you, you learn to connect with one or, two, one or two people uh, or more people and make new friends and associations with them that can help take your business to the next level. Laurie? Yep, absolutely. I think you're right. Take Make a friend and don't go in with the idea that you know, I'm just going to an event, but yeah, connect, really connect with somebody. It's important. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. And and another thing is, I think it's just part of our part of our, uh, part of connect uh, connecting with uh, and making new friends is is also connecting with people that you feel um, you hit it off with, right? Maybe you say maybe 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 from just walking by or from or from listening. Uh, or from just um, looking or learning from those people on stage, you find people who who are having results. When you want to connect with them, you want to you want to try as much as possible to connect with them so you can be able to learn more from them. Um, so so it's about being a champ and connecting with people that you feel you will get up with, people that have the results, people that uh, that that are already having the results that you want to have. Find how you can connect with them at a, at a, at another level, at a closer level, so that so that their own successes can help rub off on you as well too, and you can get the results you want. Uh, yeah. Mary, what do you think? Yeah, I think that's awesome. I I, I think uh, I've thought of what you did. Another thing that you did uh, was introduce me. You connected me with somebody that I connected with. Um, so that's just total champion behavior there. Where um, you know, oh gosh. 
I, I sit down at a dinner with this one gal, and she's just amazing. So I say, hey, Depot, you know, meet Regina. She's just this awesome gal. You got to meet her. She's a retired sheriff already, you know, and and she's moving to Hawaii, and you know, anyway. That's you get the point. I just think Absolutely. that's that's what uh, we can do for each other and 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 make uh, better connections, you know. Because this is not about uh, it's really not about me, you know. If as soon as we realize that we can step outside ourselves and we can start connecting people and making differences in, in others' lives, just right there at live events. Mm -hmm. Every that's, day. that's 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 true. That's very important. Um, let let's uh, let's let's try to see if we can. Hmm, to tackle two together, and yeah. that is number one. Uh, uh, well, this is my number nine. It's, it's volunteering and asking questions, uh, and I think we, we oh. cover this one as well too. Is is being engaged and present, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that that I think was was my number ten. But you want to always try, and, and Larry is a great example here. I mean, and I and I really applaud applaud her for it. It's it's, it's volunteering to be to be of service volunteering to help uh, lift other people up, volunteering to help encourage, be a catalyst in other people's um, successes. Because what does that do? That also is automatically going to lift you up because you're going to be connecting with other successful people along the way and they're going to be lifted up. And also ask questions. If you don't know, ask, right? I mean, there's, there's, there's nothing better than, than asking because it is only when you can ask, right, then that answers can be given to you. Remember, uh, it reminds me of that scripture where it says, ask, right? Ask and it shall be given unto you. If you don't ask, don't expect it to be given to you. But, so, but, you, but at the event, you want to, if you have questions, ask, right? And and, and also try to be of, of service. And we already talked about being engaged and present at, at events. Lori, what do you think? You know, you said, ask and, and it shall be given unto you. And I thought, you know, I know I have a friend and he, He's a father, you know, him and his wife um, have five, five kids, I think, now. But he, no, they've got more than that. Anyway, his, he says he utilizes that very same thing with his children. He waits for them to ask. He's always there with the answer. He's always there to help them. Um, he's always there with a gift, you know, so to speak. But they have to ask. Hmm. And uh, because that's how God, that's how it works. And hmm. so... As, as soon as we realize that, go ahead and reach out. You know, that's scary. We were talking about that before we got on tonight, how that can be really scary to reach out to somebody, get out of your comfort zone and ask a question and engage with somebody. It can be really, um, it can be challenging. But the, but the good news is that every time you do it, it's not that it's not going to be um, not ever terrifying or it's not ever going to be in your comfort zone, but it will get easier because we can get comfortable being uncomfortable. <laughs> I figured that one out. <laughs> Absolutely, that's that's powerful, and really, that to be honest with you, um, I was at a, as a training, listening to a call, and and really, that's one of the traits of characteristics of leaders. They 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 are not satisfied with sitting in the comfort zone. They they become they become comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yeah. So 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 they, they they will not let themselves sit down in one spot, but always always are challenging themselves, right? They are always moving on to the next level. Something else that will challenge them. Something else that will that, that will push them forward to the next level. So so and and that and that and that can be in the case of asking questions, right? Uh, maybe you don't know something. Ask the leader, right? Maybe you don't know something. Ask someone who has the answers or who potentially has the answers, and that would have helped you in moving to the next step. So um, let's move to the next one. Um, it's being is. Being inspirational, we already, already talked about get to live events, right? It's very, very important. But 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 be inspirational and uh that that is that is that is important, right? When whenever you go to events, of course you don't want to be looking down and sad and I mean be someone that can add value to someone else's life and say, Oh wow, you are awesome. Oh wow, I believe in you. Oh wow, give me high five. Oh wow, this is an exciting time, you know. Just, just do something positive. Inspire someone, right? Just encourage someone, even at live events, and 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 and, and you leave, you would have left a mark in, in the life of, of that person. I said, oh wow, I remember this person. This person that was just high fiving me all the time, right? Or, or this person that was just uh, that was just saying, oh wow, you are great. Or saying, oh, I believe in you. 
I mean, that leaves a mark in the lives of someone else that 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 helps them to say, "Wow, this person was was of value to me." Um, Larry, what do you think? Yeah, I think you're right on. I think an, another inspiration for me is when I in in our um, business when I see someone that's doing a live video or interviewing somebody out in the hallway. Um, it could be just another business associate. Like I, you know, I meet you out in the hallway and I do an interview with you online. Mm -hmm. That inspires me too because these are people that are moving forward. They just took the information. That's amazing to me that some of them will take the information they just just learned and turn around and put it to action immediately. That's inspiring too. So awesome. people with enthusiasm, positive, and 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 just make take an action already. Wow. Absolutely, I, I really like that. And, and the last two we're gonna combine is take pictures with leaders, take videos with leaders. Actually, I think this this two are actually uh, two of the comments I received from one of our, our business partners and, and, and colleagues as well too. And, and yeah, who who who's not able to to be here uh, at this hangout with us? But hopefully, she will be at, at, at other hangouts with us. But, but you want to make sure you're taking pictures with leaders, taking videos with leaders. Why is that? Because that that speaks volume, especially to the people you're going to be sending to, whether you're going to be posting on social media, on Facebook, on, uh, um, on your Twitter, on your Twitters, on your tweets, um, or even on LinkedIn. Or whenever it's like you're associating with success, and you see that's the beauty of it. If you want to be successful, associate with successful people and by taking just pictures with leaders successful leaders people having the results that you want to have or, or, or taking video with them right maybe a two minute video where they defy you or where they endorse you your list of your audience or the people in your marketplace will begin to resonate or uh, will begin to uh, liken you to success or will begin to uh, arrogate that success as well to you, uh, uh, to you, uh, just as they did with the leader. So it's very important that you are taking pictures, however you can, whenever you can, as quickly as you can. Try to take pictures with leaders. Try to take videos with leaders. It will give you game-changing results in your business. Uh, Lori, what, what do you what what do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think you're I think you're right on as far as getting together with those people. And you know, you might be saying, "Well, gosh, I really didn't. I don't really know the leader, but but he's he or she is someone you are looking up to and wanting to be more like. You're you're inspired by them. So by uh, if if you're not sure what to do about that picture when you post it, you can be um, absolutely again. Here's that champion behavior that we talked about before, where you're um, you're connecting people with that leader. If not, you know, you're saying. This person's incredible. This is what they do to succeed, and I'm right in line with them. I'm learning from them. I'm right here. I'm right connected to them, um, and you can be connected to them too. So uh, that's that same that connecting thing that uh, makes us. You know, I think it's, it must be a leadership quality too. To to uh, there's a new book uh, out by that same guy that wrote um, Start with Your Why. I don't know if you know that book. He just wrote one, and it's called. Leaders eat last. That's and, awesome. Yeah, and I think once we realize that the, the actual way that, that uh, leadership and sales work is by connecting others, finding um, who resonates. Like, I, I'm finding who resonates with Depot. Hey, look at Depot. Hey, go to Depot. This guy's awesome. You know, that kind of a thing is, um, it, it, that is what really truly works in the industry, not competition, you know, not dog eat dog. No, the reality is when you want to be really successful, you are creative. There's no competition, and you're sharing uh, and lifting each other. And I, I think that's awesome. I think that's what you're talking about. Absolutely, absolutely. See, and I like what Laurie said. It's it's never competition, but collaboration. Laurie and I are collaborating. Laurie and I are working together, right? Uh, lifting each other up, uh, promoting each other, um, edifying each other. And uh, working together, even though we are separate businesses, right? But but we are we are together, rising up together, and that's really what we really want to do for you. I, I believe this information has been very beneficial to you, Lloyd. Do you have any 
um, extra you want to share uh, just as we round up? I know we've been going for over 30 minutes, uh, uh, but just as we round up, uh, maybe you have final thoughts or ideas. Yeah, that bonus, I was going to say at the beginning, I wanted to give this bonus little tidbit, and that was the, um, the, the time that the event's over and now you're going home. If, you're, if you can't spend an extra day after the event and really go through your notes, then when you get back home, you know, to avoid that crash, to avoid that kind of depression time that sometimes happens for us after events because it's so exciting. You come off this high and now you're in a low. To beat that, um, mm -hmm. you have time to go through your notes. And even better yet, while you're taking notes at the event, leave some space on the right-hand side or wherever you want. Leave some space available so that as things come to you, as you learn to do and you're taking these notes, now you're going to pull from that what action you're going to take that goes with that. And um, with that action, make a plan. And you're not going to come off, you're not going to go down to the low. You're going to just, you're probably going to catapult yourself into a better business because now you've got a plan and you're implementing these notes which are those uncashed checks, right? We learned that from one of the events that your notes that you're taking are uncashed checks. Put those to use for you, you know, and so make a plan. Anyway, that's that's my um, my bonus anyway for, for making sure you don't hit that low when you come back from an event. Wow. Wow, powerful. Thank you, Laurie. I really appreciate that. And that is so critical. As a matter of fact, just the tip that Laurie shared, I think we can have a give that to at least a thousand to five thousand dollar tip because uh, many people just go to events. Like I said, they are they they are jacked up. I mean, they are bouncing off of the roof and they are so excited. But then, like Laurie said, at the end of the day, when they come back home, they they they, they hit that low. I mean, and, and, and almost like a depression, and, and not and not know what to begin to do. The action steps they need to begin to take in their business. But then, by doing this strategy that Lori talked about, right, um, sectionalizing a part of your of your of your, note, of your notepad to write down to start writing out actions you're gonna take, uh, to start putting down things you're gonna do moving forward. Then you begin to know how you're going to begin to um, move forward in your business i mean what a powerful tip what a powerful uh bonus i mean you, you should you should you should you should just be asking for for Lori's, uh, uh paypal account to why to why they are not into 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 your account right now i mean but Lori is just so kind so nice that she's just shared that uh fully with you but i hope this information has been very beneficial to you uh, Lloyd, do you have any any last statement uh, before we just uh, before we just? Uh, You're going to wrap it up by inviting uh, or telling us about the ah the coming up some something Black Friday's coming, I guess, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, then I'll let you take it. You <laughs> invite everybody when you're done. Then I'll you know you don't have to come back to me, you guys. Just. <laughs> Lloyd, <laughs> 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 this is big. This is big. Lloyd, thank you for 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 sharing that with me. You know, as people are going out, uh, I mean, at the time of this recording, right, because I don't know what time you'll be, get, be getting the chance to watch this. If you're not watching this live, and I don't know why you're not here live, right, because you can be joining us every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time um, to, 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 to learn information, ideas that can help you in your network marketing business, internet marketing business, affiliate marketing business, traditional marketing business, whatever it is, right, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, 4 p.m. Um, Pacific Standard Time, or, or 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Every Wednesday, you can be here learning these ideas because, I mean, it will give you game-changing results. So I was saying, this is this is at the time of this recording. It's 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 a day to Thanksgiving and 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 uh, happy Thanksgiving, especially for those who, who are celebrating Thanksgiving. Laurie and I are just so grateful that 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 we have you to call as a, as our valued uh, friends or subscribers. I mean, people who just want to become more, want to learn more, who who have decided to refuse to settle for less than the best that they can be. I mean, to you, to you, we just want to say we are grateful for you, right? We're grateful for friends, for families, for life. I mean, we have so many things to be grateful for. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, um, 
and just we just want to say we just want to say thank you especially for being here tonight and 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 we're going to be doing you know typically after after every thanksgiving the next day will be what we'll typically call black friday right where where everything goes off the roof i mean um deals like never before as a matter of fact we are going to be having a special special um training session right our own version of our black friday right a black friday webcast training where we're going to help you with your business we're going to help you to learn how to how to profit very quickly in your business i mean maybe you may be having challenges in your network marketing business your affiliate marketing business your traditional business and you're asking yourself what could be that um, strategy that I can apply that can help me to give me um, a, a great finishing in, in this year's in this year uh, as a matter of fact in this year uh, it's actually 2013 you may be watching this at a later time in the year right you can say oh wow this is 2018 when you're probably seeing this this training but regardless right this training uh, especially for those who are here in 2015 with us we're gonna be having a Black Friday special Black Friday um, training and uh, we're gonna be sending that to you. Now uh, we hope you are part of our team, part of our group, uh, or even part of our subscriber base. If not, find a way to get that link from us because we're gonna be sending it to our subscriber base where they need to go in order to be uh, participants of this training. I mean, it's going to change your life and business. So you wanna make sure that you're either clicking the link below to get started with working with us right so that you will have access to that training as well or maybe you're just a subscriber of us in which case we will try and get that link to you that training link to you but whatever the case may be click the link below make a decision for yourself right you know aren't you tired of not having everything you want in terms of financial freedom aren't you tired of not being able to just easily pay your bills without wondering when next you're going to be paid first before you figure out when your bills are going to be paid. Aren't you tired of not being able to um, soak your feet in the hot sand of, 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 of any bit you want? Maybe in Bora Bora, right? Looking at the stars, right? And just being appreciative of being able to go wherever you want to go, with whoever you want to go, or whenever you want to go, right? And just having that time and money freedom. I'm too tired of not being able to work with the right people with the right team, with the right community, with the right mentor that can help lift you up, that can help encourage you, that can help inspire you, that can help motivate you, that can help lift you up to where you need to go. Aren't you tired of not having the success that you desire and that you truly deserve? Myself and Laurie are standing here with you, extending our hands, saying, will you love come with us? this is a time i believe where you get to make the decision to get off the fence and to begin to make a decision for yourself a decision for your family are you going to let this year are you going to let the next quarter are you going to next let next year be a repeat of your past errors and past mistakes this is the time to try something new this is the time to work with us with, with, with a team that will take a stand for you that will not just run ahead of you but run alongside with you to help you to get to the results that you want to get this is myself and, and laurie saying that we believe in you you have everything that it takes to succeed and greatness resides inside of you and do not let anyone tell you anything less than that if you like the opportunity and i believe you would right i want to believe you would like the opportunity to work with us this is your time click that link below that says maybe click here to work directly with Deepa or click here to work directly with Laurie or just click here to get started or whatever button you're seeing, add to cart, whatever nature of button you may be seeing, click that link below. And when you do that, myself and Laurie, after you fill out the safe and secure form, right, and it's been successful, myself and Laurie are going to be um, either personally reaching out to you or having our assistants reach out to you to welcome you to the team, right? And to help you to schedule, uh, to have that personalized coaching session, right? To, 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 to get that game plan that you need in order to reach your goals, in order to reach uh, your desired income level. Like I said, we believe in you, it's your time. Time to make a decision 
time to go for it. On behalf of myself and Laurie, we want to say thank you very much. And uh, we're hoping you will join us for our Black Friday special webcast training, right? And uh, until next time, myself and Laurie saying, have a great, have a wonderful, have an awesome day because you, our friends, absolutely deserve it. Bye for now, Laurie. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>